I walk down to the park which sits above Nation Metro, east of Paris. Standing around are between 30 and 50 elderly men, not used to the coolness of Paris at this time of year, a wall of oversized black coats. Nevertheless, even with the slight drizzle and heavy skies, the men are on form, their silver balls shining on the brown dirt. They stand around, murmuring and laughing, catching up on the news from the past 24 hours and bantering with each other. The white jack is thrown, bounces along the ground. Collectively, you feel the slight whispers of excitement for the new game. There are five games going simultaneously, dotted around the park. Each game has a click. Each click has a specific type of man. The traditional Frenchman, the Romanians, the younger fellas, and finally the slightly drunk players. I move around with my camera, causing some stirs of interest, both as a young photographer who's stalking out their game, and also a blast from the past of technology, my camera being a relic from the 50s. It seems to synchronise well with the elderly man from the 40s and 30s. An old man chats to me about using film, but it's just small talk. The game has started, and it's imperative to concentrate on the play, and to not distract the player. The first man steps up. Black leather jacket, black trousers, black flat cap. The typical outfit of the elderly Parisian man. He steps up to throw the ball. Tack. It delicately hits the white ball. Such precision, such skill. He walks away with a slight smile. Obviously the regular, the master. The men around watch the next players come up. They seem to be in some sort of trance at the play, their emotions being carefully hidden. You see some who are pensively invested into the game, almost as if they'd put a large bet on. But there's no gambling. It's just for the joy, a public space taken over by a community of men, and specifically only men, who are brought together by retirement and a love of ball. The ball clack. You hear groans or an explanation of way when there's a miss or a grand flash of skill, respectively. Tack, tack, tack. Along comes the next gentleman. You feel the men around take specific interest in his play, his heavy silver chain on his wrist giving him that alpha-style look, his walk of a wide stride and loud voice illustrating he's a big player in this park. I hear balls clicking in the background. Silver bracelet aims, pitches, licks his lips and launches the ball up into the air, maybe twenty feet or so. Smack! His subtlety of his shot did aligned with the subtlety of his jewellery, his grace leaves something to be desired. The previous skill of all the other players is demolished in this one move, sending all the silver balls flying, leaving his next to the white jack. The winner, his dominance reasserted, his hands clap together. The men congratulate and regather their ball. Some losers look on in slight dismay, annoyance yet also interest in the man's technique. You can see the thoughts, how can I beat him in the next game? My camera clicks away, the men not noticing. The next game commences, the drizzle continues, the group remains still. A beautiful and quirky time capsule of Paris.